All right, so I'm here today to talk to you about some basic song structure. There's been some friendly requests on kind of my thought processes on song structure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through one of my songs um, and break it down for you and kind of what I'm doing and my thought process behind it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play a portion of the song. It's going to be the main portion we're going to be talking about. So it goes something like this. So the basic idea is I was playing in threes, and um, I played this first. And I just kind of liked the sound of it, the progression, so I decided to do um, four of those, and then switch. So, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that means is now I'm kind of playing in sets of twelve. So that's something to keep in mind when you're playing. If you come up with some certain pattern that you like, um, Think about what you're doing. Oftentimes, I'll play first and think later. Um, oftentimes, I find that my the stuff I like the most or the best stuff that I come up with is uh, play first, think later. So um, that was play first and think later was to think. Let's put it in sets of twelve. One, two, three, four, and then kind of the intro to that is just to flip it. Same thing. Four. spaces like that one and then now reverse it. Same thing. Three, four, one, two, three, four. So go through that a couple times and then um, I think it's going to become and then another set of three. So two, three, and then to progress but to make it a little different instead of going I'm going to go Is. So it's just going to, same theme, just keeping in threes, but just kind of progressing the theme. So again, it's going to go something like this. Two, three, four, one, two, three. So notice the top one I go this way, and the other one I go just a little bit different. So it's just a small variation on the same notes. And for me, that's what keeps a kind of general theme flowing throughout of it. So it's again, one, two, three. done that so now what so then um, still thinking of a general progression and um, of how to do it there's a lot of ways to twist it um, one way I do it in the song is to go so why the why that progression of notes well um, I was wanted to progress with this again keeping that theme so thinking of what notes on this instrument go well with these notes so that's an F G A well, um, it happens that I have a B flat, which makes a nice fifth. Then I have a G and a C, which again, that's a um, going to be a fourth. And then I have a D and an A, uh, so that's again another fourth. 
no, excuse me, fifth. So I go progression of fifth, fourth, fifth, and then I kind of end at the top there. So um, to put that whole beginning together, it's going to sound something like this. So I'll do my sets of four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, break. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, break. Reversed. there it's still staying in threes that's gonna be a two on three or three and two I can never remember which it is but now it's a simple polyrhythm and if you haven't explored polyrhythms I recommend it it's, it's a very useful tool but it means in the same time frame when this one's hitting three this one's hitting two finished with my kind of general thought and I wanted to, to get back to the original so then I just was thinking of a way that I could walk back down so it came out like this and notice that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so again still honoring those sets of twelves in fact, everything that's going on here is in these little sets of 12. Um, so what's nice about that is it gets me right back to the... So I got to this point after the first run of it, and I thought, okay, well, I want to do something a little different. So it, it works out that that general theme, you can do it all at the same time. So I'll go one, two, three, and I'm going to do both. F. And that leads right into. But again, I want to do it at the same time, so it goes. And that's going to be B flat to G, and then that's D to A, and then back to F. So it's going to go. Again, and then instead of doing these singular, I do it all together at once. So it's going to sound like this. Uh, let's see if I can do it. So again, that's kind of my general thought process and structure with a song like this, is take a very simple theme, which was, and just kind of twist it. Um, and just see how many different ways you can play with it and more of it. Now this is a song that's very structured, and I also play songs that are very unstructured, but they generally start with a very simple idea or a simple theme. So if you have simple themes like that, that you've come up with, take them and run with them. And, and if structure is something that you want to do, then think about what you're playing what count you're playing in and, and, and ways that you can make general progressions and things.